areas in Accra flooded again this morning after several hours of rain which started on Thursday. Mercy Darling Local reports several homes have been flooded with roads rendered inaccessible. The flooding in the capital caused by the four hours of rain on Friday is no surprise as that has become the norm. Many residents around the Odona River have been displaced. The blame the situation on the poor drainage system. Behind me is the Gata residents say is the cause of the flooding in their rooms and apartments. They are calling on government through the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, to come and dredge it for them. They believe when it is properly constructed, they will no longer experience floods in their rooms. The Ghana Meteorological Agency have predicted more rain in many parts of the country this June. After several hours of downpour, residents living in Odona at Adabraka are collecting water from their rooms, trying to salvage their property. In our interaction with some of them, they called on the National Disaster Management Organization to come to their aid with items that will help in their rescue. Messi Darling Local, TV3, Adabraka, Odona. And in the studio, my name is Grace Hamwa Asari. I'm not here alone. I'm with the Director of Public Relations of NADMO, George A.C. Boating, who is going to help us talk a lot more about Mercy Darling's report as well as other reported cases of flooding in the country's capital and other parts of the country. So, so you see, thank you for joining us on Midday Live. How has NADMO been fighting the flooding in Accra and other parts of the country? We are in the rainy season now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my sister, uh, there are two ways to fight the flooding in Accra, structural and non-structural way. Mm. Uh, the structural way involves uh, the construction of uh, storm drains and then the dredging of these uh, drains, right? Uh, that is very important. And then the non-structural involves the public education and sensitization of people living within uh, such communities, okay? And, and we've been doing uh, both. Government is taking the structural one uh, through the Ministry of Works and Housing. Uh, you heard about the 200 million Ghana CDs that was released uh, for the dredging of the Odo and other 21 uh, such drains uh, across the nation. And so that is the one way. And we are also continuing with the sensitization approach. Yesterday, uh, we met all the district directors and operation directors uh, in Greater Accra mm. uh, in, at the regional office to uh, impress upon our, uh, a directive from the director general to impress upon them to intensify the public education and sensitization in their communities. So uh, we don't want to continuously be recording deaths because uh, there's rain and mm. there's flooding. Uh, so people ought to know what to do and where to go as a safe haven when, when, when the rains set in and mm. they see that the flood is coming up in their area. The 200 million that has come from the World Bank, how is that augmenting the work NADMU does, especially in this period? The, the World Bank one is yet to come. Yeah, there's a technical committee, which has NADMU members on the committee, plus other agencies. Uh, they're uh, going to do that. The implementation is going to be in the l last quarter of 2020. Okay, so the preparatory works and co are going on uh, till that time. And they've identified certain vulnerable communities mm -hmm. where the, they're going to construct storm drains and then uh, do other things that will help uh, lower the effect or the impact of, of flooding on such communities. Nima is part where your, your reporter reported from, uh, the Odo area, yeah. the Sahara area, is also part of the uh, package. Mm. Is it only concentrating in the capital? Because I, I'm hearing you say Nima yeah. and it's, Odo. It's, it's Garid, Greater Accra Resilient and Integrated Development Project. Mm. It's Greater Accra mm. Project. Yeah. Mm. All right, so if, um, if you are to rate NADMO's performance this period, on a scale of um, from one to ten, how do you, how do you rate it? Oh, in terms of you see, our search and rescue team is being on standby. The whole of yesterday, they were on the field. You get it. Our primary objective is to save lives and properties. These floods may come in these places until we do some of the projects that ought to be done. You mm -hmm. get it, and the dredging and all that. Uh, if they are done, definitely. 
uh, and my sister, before I give the rating, another very critical part is uh, the spaces, the land spaces that used to retain water when it rains. You get mm -hmm. it? Most of such lands have been built upon. You get it? And so when it rains, the water does not collect somewhere and then sink or percolate into the soil. Okay, so they need to, they fall on hard grounds and they must get a drain uh, to move. That's how come we have heavy flooding when it rains, mm. you get it. So because of all these challenges, we tell us we need to do more. Mm. Uh, NADMO is giving off its bet. I'll give NADMO 6.5 now. 6.5 yeah. out of 10. Yeah. Thank you very much for speaking with us. George A.C. Boatin says There's he'll no score. Boatin. George A.C. <laughs> says he'll score NADMO 6.5 <laughs> out of 10. When it comes to their performance in, in, in fighting flooding for now. Thank you very much for speaking with us.